the inflation narrative that we spoke about in the US. We, we saw oil prices and natural gas prices, maybe not today since the, you know, the conversation that um, oil supply remains tight to Saudi Arabia and Russia extends supply cuts, etc. But these are bound to trickle down into inflation at some point in the future. So I know we're looking at unemployment. That's the most important bit. But if you start to see inflation go back up because of all these different discussions, the Fed have no other choice but to go back into rate increases, do you think? Again, I think it does, certainly comes down to how much they think they've done already. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, what the market believes, you know, the market can go out there and price, you know, where the, where the, 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 the Fed uh, terminal rate might be in, yeah. say, six months. I think they look at what the market believes quite a lot. Mm. Um, and I think, yeah, in, in the context of, you know, if inflation's creeping up, it matters from where. Mm let's say it's from wage growth. Okay, why is that wage growth creeping up? What is allowing wage growth to creep up? Are credit spreads decreasing off the back of that wage growth, which means that companies are actually in an okay position, perhaps? Um, you know, there's there's so many different components to that question that, as I said before, the underlying components of that inflation are really what matters. It's like in the UK, for example, with the NHS bonuses. Yeah. Okay, that led to high wage growth, but what does that actually mean for inflation? Like, Is mm. that something that you react to with policy or is it something that you just say, that's an anomaly, let's kind of leave it alone because mm. unemployment is up, you know, 4.3% uh, versus expected Correct. 4%. Um, so yeah, the whole context matters a lot more than just, all right, inflation's creeping up. It, it, it yeah. Like if it was coming from, say if inflation were coming from, I don't know, gas prices, like that might be something that you say, oh crap, we might have to, you know, raise rates a little bit again. Mm. Um, because it's shown perhaps that demand's there. I don't know. It's, it's such a tricky question to, to kind of, you know, make an answer to. And I guess this is where I have sympathy for, for central bankers as well, <laughs> because they have to really look at all of this stuff and yeah. say, oh God, no matter what we do, we're going to get, you know, we're, we're going to get it in the neck from mm -hmm. a whole group of people. Everyone's going to call us wrong. Everyone's got to shout their opinion out. 